They're billed as the world's first bionic fingers. They've been built by British scientists. The technology really is amazing. And uh, the folks at Touch Bionics tell me that it's only going to get better. And I can't even imagine anything more awesome than this. Eric Jones is one of the patients who've been testing them out in the trial stages. I can do things a lot faster. So I can fold laundry faster. Um, I can pick things up and walk around. Um, I can pick up my kid's Lego. They've been built by Touch Bionics, the same West Lothian firm which produced the bionic eye limb hand. Those fitted with the device will be able to bend, touch, pick up and point. The firm's marketing director, Philip Newman, says it has the potential to transform the lives of thousands of people with missing digits. The feedback has been fantastic. We've actually fit over 30 people now with ProDigit as a solution. And we're finding now that we've learned through the early stages of those fittings with uh, control strategies, coverings and all of the things that you expect when you're an early stage technology. But we spend a lot of time working with patients and uh, other clinical professionals and we're very comfortable with the solution that ProDigits now represents. The Pro Digits are custom made and fitted onto what remains of the hand. Sensors register muscle signals from the residual finger or palm. One of the things that makes them special is their ability to grip without crushing an object. They're not cheap though, costing around thirty-five to forty-five thousand pounds. The firm's hoping to talk to health service bosses in the future to see whether they could ultimately be provided on the NHS.